If you think your high school experience was rough, check this out. A boarding school in China has installed metal bars on all balconies after two third grade pupils committed suicide in six months. Hengshui No. 2 Middle School, home to nearly 10,000 top performing students, is known for its highly stressful military style management. Not only are students forced to get up at 5.30 a.m. and study for at least 10 hours a day, but all meals have a 15-minute time limit and students are only given one holiday every three years. Pictures of the school's new balcony fence first appeared last week on China's equivalent of Twitter. Caption, in order to prevent pupils from jumping off the building, Hangshui Middle School has spent a fortune. Another user commented, this is indeed a school, but in order to stop pupils from taking their lives, it has made itself look like a prison. So I want to do the story because I came across one of those pictures on Twitter with the bars, and it just blew my mind that really what they're doing in these schools is turning this into jail. And then so when it looks I, like it looks like the projects I grew up next to in the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, so ten yeah. hours. Let's just some of those numbers again. Well, ten you, hours of studying, a fifteen-minute break. I mean, this—that's not what. That's pretty that's crazy. That's not what kids yeah, are supposed to. Yeah. That's not what the the human it, experience of, of growing up is supposed to be like. Right? right. I think when I read that, it made me not feel so bad about medicating my child. Because um, <laughs> at least if you medicate your child, they're quiet. They yeah. walk around like zombies. Zombies can't jump. Zombies you know? can't. Yeah. Zombies can jump. You put a little red get... meat on the other side, a zombie will jump. Uh, I don't no, yeah. I don't know about that. Does this just seem crazy? Like, I know, I know what, the, what a lot of the commenters are going to say is that, well, look where China is in the world in education. And they're going to say that's why they've surpassed America in so many things and they're so working what's hard. What's the question? The bars or, or, uh, or their intense uh, mode of education? So let's start with the mode of education first. Like, is that just too much? Empirically, is that kind of studying for third graders where they could consider suicide? Is that just. Too much. Well, and again, we don't know. Every, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm not an expert in China. Did, did you see they had a video? And I also read online that uh, they have the children. They line up and they throw their hands in the air. We will succeed. And any time I see children throwing their hand in the air and yelling, "We will succeed," it reminds me of Nazis. You it's know, a little Hitler. Yeah, it is. It is a little Hitler. Well, thing. having yeah. to recite the Pledge of Allegiance every morning makes me think of Nazis too. But <laughs> oh, that's okay, just me. Oh, no. Paul Provenza. <laughs> On Twitter, uh, so go directly to there. Uh, anything else, Paul, uh, <laughs> that we can send the people directly? I'll see who I can piss off in the next segment. Yeah. No, but, but, all right, so the bars. I mean, it just doesn't that in and of itself, forgetting the amount that they're working, but just to have kids in a learning environment where they're trapped like that, doesn't that just seem crazy? That by seems itself? crazy as far uh, as uh, uh, safety wise. If there's a fire, uh, there's, you know, that is kind of crazy. They're attractive bars, though, you have to admit, the welding in it. They're, was <laughs> no, the par excellent. <laughs> But, uh, but what do you think about this in the, in the scheme I, of... I don't know. Look, you know, we're all adults here, and we can't open a window in a hotel. So uh, who's to judge? What do you think is worse? Like, the growing up in our education system where so many kids are slipped through the cracks and then their whole lives are ruined because they don't get the education they deserve, or going through something that could break you but you're gonna learn and then... When I see stuff like that, I feel bad for China itself because they're so regimented and so like strict that, that the creative ones that are there that are gonna actually bring something creative and something out, out of the box to their society, I think that just kills that. Yeah, so is that the part they're missing? So for, for three creative types in comedy, is that the part? How do you then, I don't how know, do you create a creative They seem to be that? doing They're doing great. great. <laughs> They're I don't know. Uh, I mean, what are you going to what are you going to compare? You're going to say it's worse than the education system, state education system here in America. By the way, can I just say this to your viewers yes. uh, um, about the education system? Yeah. I just saw a fantastic documentary called uh, "Waiting for Superman," mm -hmm. which is really, really terrific. If you're interested in how and why our education system is is in such trouble, uh, this documentary gets into the, the problems, what, how hard it is to fix our education system. Uh, um, so I just wanted to pass that on. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. in that well, arena. When you, after watching that movie, what is the one thing you took away from that movie uh, about the education system that's specifically wrong? Um, uh, it's, it's become a bureaucratic uh, nightmare, mm -hmm. and so to affect change is virtually impossible because you're dealing with people's livelihoods and you're dealing with, with uh, um, union rules and you're dealing with um, uh, all sorts of uh, structures that make it impossible 
to do any fundamental changes. And until the institution of this bureaucracy can change, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to affect change from within it. Um, uh, but but I just wanted to pass yeah. that on. I, I'm not speaking for it. I just think it's a fascinating document. No, well, I think that's actually a good takeaway there. So, okay, we've got our system right here totally warped, and our education system is, is one of the worst in the uh, Western world. We've got China where it seems to be working, right? Their economy is going great, and yet they have bars on their windows. So if you're in a country that's somewhere between those <laughs> I, two but things. You're saying, but you're saying that like it's not true here. I mean, there were bars yeah. on, on half the schools in New York. Right, but what were they, but were the bars not to stop the kids from killing themselves, it was to stop violence, I guess, outsiders coming in or? I don't know. I, <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> the system is seriously fucked. What do you think? Let us know in the comments right down below.